hello, welcome, cool. All right, so this is our application right now. And right now we don't have a profile, so let's actually create that. Let's create a section where we show the profile because if we go to our dev tools to Redux, we actually are fetching the profile. We have all these details. We just need to show them on the interface. All right, so let's go to the home page. Where's the home page? Yeah, here. So here where we have this text profile, let's actually put a component profile, which we haven't created yet. Let's uh, import it. Import something that hasn't been created yet, because why not? <laughs> All right, let's go to components. Let's create a profile. So JS and here let's do RCE tab. Oops. Again it didn't work. Come on. Yes, third time is the charm, I guess. Alright, so let's remove the uh, that export. And here we're gonna need a couple of things. Of course we're gonna have prop types. So prop types. What is that? Prop types from prop dash types. We're gonna need with styles from material ur slash core slash style slash with styles uh, we're gonna need some movie stuff so we're gonna need the button from material ui slash core slash button uh, I know we're gonna need some icons we actually need to install the package for icons, so let's open up a new window and do npm install dash dash save at material UI slash uh, slash icons. Uh, let's actually look at the documentation. So basically these are all the, um, so we go to styles, icons. These are all the material, uh, Google material design icons. They are SVG icons. And the way you use them is just like you import the icon with the name of it. So let's say delete. So import uh, at material UI slash icon slash delete and you use it as a React component. And if you would go here to see the full list of the, uh, of the Google material design icons, I don't know why I said the whole thing again. <laughs> You can see all the icons, and if you want to use one, basically you just camel case the name. So, for example, play for work will be um, not camel case, Pascal case. So it would be like play for work, and you will get that icon. All right, so let's head back to our application. We're not going to use any icons right now, but here at the start, actually, we need to uh, first let's say with styles, styles and wrap the profile as well. And then let's wrap the entire thing. And here, let's connect it. Connect, which we haven't brought in yet. And it brings the connect from HTTP too. Okay, VS code. <laughs> Map state to props. Uh, I don't think we need any actions for now. So here, let's do, um, we bring connect, no, actually from React Redux. And we, we need to create the map state of props. And it takes the state, the usual, and it returns an object. And we only need to access the user. So user state.user. And oh, we need to do the prop types. So let's do what is this profile? So profile.prop types. We have user. an object and it's required and we have uh, classes from with styles um, almost typed classes <laughs> and this is required cool okay so here at the start of the render let's get um, let's get classes and let's get some details from our user so from user let's as well destructure from this uh, actually, inside of user, we have credentials. And from that, we're going to need some stuff. This is some nested uh, destructuring. So we're going to need handle. We're going to need created at uh, image URL. Um, what else? 
oh yeah we need the details so bio and website and location all right so this is what this is after credentials I confused myself a bit yeah that's it we need the, the credentials and we need the well actually well, actually we need to create another property I forgot about so inside the user we're gonna have um, so here we put a comma and we do loading we're gonna have a um, loading for the user let's not forget to say this equals this dot props and let's save so it formats we're gonna have actually a loading property. So when the profile is loading, we can see um, a loading skeleton. So, which is different to the UI loading. So let's go to our user reducer. And here we need to bring from types uh, loading user. And here we need to initialize a property loading with false. And here let's add a case for that. So case loading user. And all it does here, we just return the state and we do loading equals true. And here when we set the profile, we actually um, stop the loading. So we do loading equals false in case it was true. So let's save this and let's go to user actions. Let's bring it in as well here. So from types loading user. Oh, it's already created actually. It's already in the types. Okay, so loading user and um, here when we try to get the data, let's, before we try to get the data, we dispatch an action with the type loading user. I think we're done with this part. Yeah, we're done with this part. So let's go back to our, let's save the home. Let's close this. Let's close this. Let's not worry about this. Oh, we, let's create const styles equals empty object for now. Uh, I noticed I'm, uh, I'm spending too much time writing CSS rules, which is not the main focus of this course or this series. So what I'm gonna do for now, I'm just gonna paste in like styles for this profile because there's quite a bunch of them. I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste time doing that. I'm gonna of course um, uh, post the link to this, uh, st this object, styles object. And so you can copy it and paste it right now as we're um, doing this video and then you'll have everything styled. And you can go, of course, through it and, and you know, and understand what's happening there, why I wrote what I did. Okay, so here we're gonna actually create one object and then return it and then we're gonna call it profile markup. Because this markup is gonna be completely different depending on whether we're loading or whether we're authenticated. So here we have, uh, let's do let profile markup. Now we're gonna have, this is gonna be a bit confusing. We're gonna have two ternary operators. So the first one, let's say, if not loading. So let's do a question mark parentheses, colon parentheses. So if we're not loading, show this. If we're loading, show this. So for loading, let's for now let's just show uh, a paragraph say loading dot 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 and if we're not loading don't worry about this it's gonna be fixed once I write anything here so if we're not loading we check if we're authenticated so if we're authenticated show this else show this so if we're not loading sh if we're loading show loading if we're not loading check if we're authenticated if we are authenticated show the profile of authenticated if not we're gonna show um, uh, you know, a, a section that says there's no profile data, please log in or sign up and we'll show two buttons uh, for users to do exactly that. So here I'm gonna use um, something called paper from Material UI. It's basically just like, um, where is it? So component demos, paper. So yeah, it's this, it's just this kind of surrounding frame thing that stands out from the background. It looks like a card because Basically a card is built up on top of a paper. So here we do paper. I'm gonna give it a class name of classes dot paper. So we already have the styles, so these styles will apply and it will look cool all off the go. So here I'm gonna do a, a oops. So let's tab here, let's do a div with a class name of and name this profile. 
And here I'm going to have a wrapper for the profile image. And actually we could still use traditional class name, you know, strings. Uh, we can, just, if you go here and you see, we can still use stuff like this. So inside of profile, we can say and space, and then we give the class and it will still work like traditional um, uh, SAS. And yeah, so we can do that. So this is profile image, actually not image profile. So profile, where is it? Let me check again. Yeah, profile dash image. So here inside of this div, we're gonna have the um, the image. So I'm gonna do image or just image tab. And the source is gonna be image URL. We already destructured that. And the alternative will be just profile. And it's gonna be, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Here we're gonna do a, a horizontal ruler, which I've already styled to not have any border. So it will be invisible to just create some space between them. And here, here actually I'm going to put a link, but this is not going to be like the normal React link. Actually it is, but indirectly. But here let's first put a div with the class profile details. And I'm going to bring in something from material UI. So actually not, this is not movie stuff. This is Redux stuff. So let's say Redux. And here from MUI, I'm going to bring in, um, uh, what is it from material? material why is it not IntelliSensing? Material dash UI slash core slash link, and um, I can name it anything because it's the default. It's the default uh, export. I don't want to confuse it with the React routed DOM link, which we need to bring in as well. So import link from React router DOM. And here, uh, where are we? So we're here. Here I'm gonna say um, MUI link, and I'm gonna give it the component of link. And here I'm, it's gonna have the two. Actually, it's gonna be uh, like this template string. It's gonna be two users slash. Uh, put a, a variable there, and it's gonna be the handle of this user. So this is gonna be like a title uh, that says the name of the user, and it's gonna be a link as well to that to the page of the user. And the color will be primary. And since this is built on top of typography, we can give a variant to change the size. And I'm gonna give the vari variant of um, h5, header five, and this will say at handle, just like in Twitter. And here we will do an HR. And here I want to show um, and I want, I want to show the details of the profile. So first, first will be the bio. So and these we don't have to have them because a user can have no bio. So it's going to be null. So what we need to do, we need to first check if they have a bio. Then we show the bio. So here what we're going to use, we're going to use typography, typography. And is it imported from the right place? Oh, not like this. I need to tree shake this. So typography, and I need to put it with movie stuff. Okay. So here, this is gonna be typography of variant. Uh, what variant do I give this? Body two, I guess. I think it's body two. Pretty sure it's body too. So here, bio, not bio, and bio. And after this, I'm gonna put another HR to make some more space. And here, I'm gonna check if a user has the location. And here, I'm gonna do parentheses because it's gonna be multiple things. I wanna use like an icon on the left uh, that shows um, a location icon. And this is called location on. Let me bring it in from icons. So this will be here. Import location on from material UI, actually not slash core, slash icons, slash location on. I'm going to need two more icons. So I might as well, excuse me, bring them now. I'm going to need the link icon. I'm going to call it link icon. Not ion, icon, 
and it's gonna be from icon slash link actually let me check I don't remember what the other icon was that I need to bring uh, styles icons it's calendar but it's a calendar yeah calendar today okay all right so it's gonna be let me select this control D calendar today all right so here uh, where are we so location on color primary and yeah that's it and here next to it I'm gonna do space uh, actually with that we just do span location inside like this and I'm gonna put an HR but it has to go inside of here because if there is no if there's no location I don't want to put two HRs on top of each other oh this is giving me uh, must have one parent element oh yeah okay let's wrap this in a fragment which if you don't know what it is it's a react a component that actually doesn't render anything but it just wraps things so that they will be in one element so let's actually bring that in fragment and here we need to show the uh, was it the web yeah the website so website and 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 let's do a parentheses expression let's do another fragment as well and here let's um, let's use the link icon so link icon with the color of primary and under the link I'm gonna actually have a normal anchor tag uh, anchor tag with a href to the website and I'm gonna give it a target underscore blank so that it doesn't open in this window it opens in a different window and this is a react thing you have to give this rel equals no opener no referrer otherwise react will complain so we close this and inside of here I want to do like oops because this icon is kind of thin I want to give like some uh, it's kind of wide so I'm gonna give some space and then put the website like this and put in uh, like a um, horizontal ruler HR and here under the website I'm gonna put the um, the joined since date thing so I'm, I'll put the calendar today icon with a color of primary again and after it I'm gonna put some space like this and I'm gonna put a span and say joint and here actually we need to format this so we need to bring in um, day.js so let's say import day.js from day.js and where are we we're here wait here so here I need to say day.js pass this the created at and here I want to format it and pass a string say mmm which is gonna say like the month but in three digits line three letters and quadruple y to just show like the the year in a normal format all right so this is it for the profile but here I want to show as well uh, if we're not authenticated so here let's do paper again with a class name oops class name of classes dot paper and close this and then inside of here uh, we're gonna have some text so typography with a no no color a variant of body 2 and I'm gonna give this a line takes a property align and say center so the text is actually aligned in the center and let's say no profile found please log in again um, here I'm gonna put a div a div and it's gonna have a class name of classes dot buttons is it button or buttons buttons yeah buttons all right so buttons and here I'm gonna put a button 
did we bring in button? We did, okay. All right, here I'm gonna put, what is this? Like this button, and this will have a variant of contained, oh, contained like this, uh, with a color primary, color primary, with a component of link so that we can actually uh, go somewhere within our application with a to, to slash login and this button will say login and we can actually just copy this copy this button but here we'll have the color of secondary and it will go to sign up and it will say sign up think this is it for our profile markup yeah so yeah if we're logged in we will show this if we're not we'll show this if we're loading we'll show this okay let's save all right paper is not defined oh we need to bring in paper so let's copy this select this control d say paper what else authenticated is not defined how come Oh, we need to take authenticated as well from user. So authenticated. So theme is not defined. Oh, we need theme. We need to spread theme here. Actually, we need to take theme. So do like this theme and then wrap this in parentheses so that it's returned as a, from the function. All right, let's save and it should fix everything. And it does. Cool. Oh, okay, so our image is massive, but the rest is cool. Oh, because this image um, needs the class. What is the class actually? Profile image, yeah, this. So, where is the image? Class name equals that. Let's save. Oh, it's aligned to the left for some reason. What's what's wrong actually? Oh, actually the div that contains it is um, is image wrapper and not not uh, not profile image. So delete this and then so wrapper. All right, cool. So our profile is uh, like this. We show the website. This person has Twitter as their website. Joined in March two, 2019. And if we would like log out, of course now manually like. We will implement a logout button in the next episode. When we finish up the profile, cool, we get the buttons. And if we click on login, it goes to login. If we click on sign up, it goes there. If I would sign up as, let's say, John, who doesn't have any bio or anything. Go, hit enter. There we go. We don't get the details that uh, this user doesn't have and the image is rendering quite nicely. Cool, so in the next episode, we're gonna finish up the profile. We're gonna add the button for uploading images and, and details and stuff like that. So look forward to that. Thank you for watching and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Bye.